The nature of transit testing is to simulate what the packaging will endure during the distribution cycle. Most of the failures we see happen during transit testing, so it is our job to make sure your package's sterile barrier will be intact after we shake, rattle, and roll your samples. In this video, we will explain each transit test and its importance. There are two standards that we use at PCL for transit testing. Those standards are ASTM D4169 and ISTA 3A. In this visual, we will point out some of the differences and similarities between ISTA and ASTM. Shipper orientation and labeling is different for each standard. Atmospheric conditioning is an optional add-on for both standards. The number of drops performed, as well as drop height, is different for each standard. Vibration testing is conducted at different durations for each standard as well. As you can see, the standards are similar yet different. Determining which standard we will use for your device's validation depends on your product's distribution method. Consulting with a professional test lab like PCL is an easy way to ensure the appropriate testing is conducted for your device and its packaging system. Environmental conditioning is an important element to incorporate in your transit simulations per ISO 11607. Conducting this simulation provides objective evidence that your packaging can withstand the challenges of a worst-case climate condition during transit. Most standards for environmental conditioning include sub-zero, tropical, and desert. Drop testing is an assessment that scientifically mimics the forces experienced on a package when it is thrown, kicked, or tossed around while making it through the shipping environment. Failures occur during drop testing when there is too much movement inside the shipper. Compression testing simulates what your packaging might endure if there are heavy boxes stacked on top of it. Heavier boxes tend to crush boxes that are on the bottom of shipping trucks, so this test is meant to make sure your samples will be intact even after the shipper is crushed. High altitude testing simulates what your packaging might endure if it will travel by airplane or will travel at high altitudes, whether it's by plane or by shipping truck in the mountains. This testing is important because pressure changes due to high altitude can inflate and even pop open packaging. Vibration testing simulates the constant vibration your samples will experience while it is in the back of a shipping truck. If device movement is not mitigated or your package is too large, the constant rate of vibration is like sandpaper on the packaging. Concentrated impact evaluates the ability of packaging to resist the force of concentrated impacts from outside sources, such as bumps the box might experience when it is being loaded and unloaded from vehicles.